Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Adrian's Digital Basement. You may be noticing that it's Thursday, which is not a normal video day for me. I typically do stuff on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I wanted to make a special video for Thursday. Today is US Thanksgiving, which is one of the biggest holidays in the US, actually. It's probably bigger than Christmas time, at least when it comes to getting together with your family. And because of the human malware that we're experiencing right now, a lot of people are not doing that. They're not getting together with their family. And it's extra hard on people because it's the one time of the year that everyone makes that big trip to get on an airplane and fly home to see their family, maybe just once a year. And because that's not happening, I wanted to just to make a little video to, to take your mind off of it. Now, for something potentially interesting to watch, I have a package to open. And this is a package from Stuart, the gentleman who donated that Apple II Plus to me. Well, he sent me a little package here. Let me know ahead of time that it was something Thanksgiving related. So I figured I'd just make a special video on the holiday, on Thanksgiving. I have absolutely no idea what's in this package. <laughs> it's just as much of a mystery to me as it is to you. Let's see what we find. All right, here we go. Uh, there's lots of packing material in here. Yeah, all right. Whoops, knocked the camera there. All right, looks like we have two small packages, maybe a card or something, and something on a USB thumb drive. Let's see what this stuff is. So I was just checking the message from Stuart on this package, and he did give me one hint. He said to look at what's on this thumb drive first, then open the white package, then open the brown package. So I guess, uh, first step, let's take a look. And what's on this thumb drive? Please excuse the messy desktop on this machine. This is my lab machine. So of course it has all the stuff I'm currently working on just dumped on the desktop. All right, the thumb drive has a file here, Thanksgiving. Let's take a look. Hey there, Adrian. This has been one crazy year, hasn't it? With the human malware, as you call it, 2020 elections, BLM, murder hornets, fires, floods, hurricanes, and on and on and on and on. <sighs> it's too easy to focus on all the problems right now. But seeing as it's Thanksgiving, I wanted to share a few things I'm thankful for. Specifically, every Wednesday and Saturday where I can sit down, launch YouTube, and be invited down to Adrian's digital basement, where I can escape back to better days. I'm sure many of your viewers feel the same way and are thankful for your channel as well. So, after watching your Apple II Plus series, very nice by the way, I had an idea. With COVID ruining many of our own holiday plans, what if we could help at least one family back together? <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving to you and all your viewers, Adrian. Thank you very much, Stuart. That was a really sweet message. And it, it kind of goes with a lot of the comments that I get on my videos from people who just, who say similar things that, the situation in the world right now is getting them down and watching my videos makes them feel good. And I think it's one of the reasons why I make videos and I know a lot of other YouTubers do it for the same reason. The internet has its pluses and minuses, right? It goes without saying. But the retro community is such an incredible plus. It's just, it's such an incredible group of people. There's so many fun and interesting folks out there world over that love this hobby. and. These little YouTube channels like mine and all the other ones, including some of the really big ones, allow us a place to come together and really just enjoy our passion. And I love it. I absolutely love it. So uh, let me get to these packages here and let's see what else Stuart has sent. All right, he said, open the white package next. And he didn't mention anything about what's written on this paper here. So um, why don't I take a look at that? I'm gonna take a peek at this. Nanya's Bee's Nest. Okay, very cute. Oh, okay, it doesn't say anything inside, so um, it's just that maybe that's something to do with what's in these packages. Let's take a quick look. It's not very heavy. All right, we have some chocolates. Uh, there's a bag of chips, and then there's a letter, I think. Let's see what this letter says here. <laughs> missing, uh, have you seen me, HP 547A, missing since the 1980s? That's the current tracer that Stuart sent me that I opened up on that one package uh, he had sent along. Help us reunite our beloved long lost brother. He was always seeking trouble, hanging out in rather dirty and bug infested circuits. Then one day he just disappeared like a puff of reef of smoke in the wind. Despite all our probing, generating a few short pulses of information, we couldn't find him. In the end, 
we were a bit stuck and come to a complete deadlock situation. But just recently, we traced his location to a basement in the northwest of the U.S., and we believe he is living with a renowned 80s computer guru who seems to get a little emotional over test tools. This sounds like the sort of place he and the rest of us would love to go. Please help us get reunited. We don't have much, just a few questionable chips, and would give them all to see HP, quote, what's the model number again? 547A, current tracer once again. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Well, rest assured, the current tracer is not lost. It's right here in this little white box. I put it in here for safekeeping because um, the tip on the current tracer, I haven't showed this in use yet because I haven't had a need to use it. The tip on the current tracer is a very sensitive magnetic device. Well, here it is, the HP, well, wait, what was that model number again? Yeah, the HP 547A. And yes, this is the magnetic tip right here. Uh, this is what does the sensing on this thing. And it is a fragile little piece of uh, technology here. Something that, that's just not made anymore. In fact, I just noticed that the uh, little cap that covers it, the protective cap has fallen off on the floor and now I gotta go find it. Okay, well, after crawling around on my hands and knees, believe it or not, I did not find the cap. Like everything you drop on the floor, it basically shoots off in a direction so far away that you have no idea where it is. So I'm gonna have to do more exhaustive searching in the future, but that's why I have this box at least to keep this keep this delicate apparatus protected. So let's take a look at the treats that have been sent along. Ooh, maple cream chocolate truffles. Interesting. Oh, they're little maple leaves like Canada. That's so cute. Let's see here. Yeah, those are pretty yummy. Notice here, pure maple syrup. There's a lot of sugar in that one piece of candy I just ate. Woo, that's like sugar overload. As you see here, these come from Ben's Sugar Shack and it looks like uh, it's a New Hampshire company. Now, Stuart is from New Hampshire, so it makes sense that he sent me something from New Hampshire. And then we have some potato chips here. Cokes, KKs, I mean, Irish, it's an Irish name? I have no idea, right? Atlantic sea salt and Irish cider vinegar. Mmm, delicious. Look at this, it actually has the field name and the variety, and then it was cooked by Kieran. <laughs> and they're actually produced in Ireland. The carbon footprint of this bag of chips is actually pretty high. I think these were grown and made in Ireland and then sent all the way to the east coast of the U.S. and then they were sent here to the west coast of the U.S. But I'm sure these are delicious. Let me try one. Yeah, that's absolutely delicious. I mean, you can't go wrong with salt and vinegar chips, honestly. And because this is a cider vinegar, it's a little bit of an extra tang. That's just, that's delicious. Also, I do have to add hi to all my Irish viewers, even though this kind of came the long way to get to me. It's still kind of cool, I, I love it. All right, and then now we have the brown package, uh, brown paper. Let's see what we have in here. I'm just gonna very carefully cut this open. It's just like unwrapping a present. Oh, what is this? It's something that says HP on it. What is this? Okay, well, <laughs> wow. So this is the HP 546A Logic Pulsar. <clears throat> and inside here, wow, look at this material. It's, it's like a, a 60s extravaganza in here. And there's something else as well. It's the HP 545A Logic Probe with an incredibly sharp tip on there. Wow. And it looks like this is, I wonder if this is the cap for the Logic Probe. Let's just see. I think that is, maybe, maybe not. The cap for the current tracer that went flying off into the distance, wherever that went, is just like this one. But unlike the current tracer one, this one actually stays on properly. The current tracer one, you put it on, it just falls off. If you just look at it, it falls off. What's this? This looks like we have, oh, these are the uh, clips. Nice. Okay, so let me explain what this is. So on all of these HP devices, uh, at the end of the wire, there's this, um, this thing here, right? With these little probes. And um, this is where you connect power to run these devices. They need power to run, right? This is the uh, logic pulser and then the logic probe and also the current tracer all need power. So this is how you connect the power, but you know, what do you connect this to, right? Well, my current tracer, what I did is um, I have some of these easy hooks here, which I have connected. So 
it's not the exact right one that HP would have had, but these are little uh, clips. Um, so does this even show up on the camera? When I squeeze this, little prongs come out and you can clip this onto a, say, a, so the ground and the five volts on a bypass capacitor, you can power this thing from that or whatever you can clip onto somewhere on the motherboard you're diagnosing. And it's gonna be the same with these two devices. Well, in this bag here, we have, I think, uh, the original HP clips. These were not included with the current tracer, but it's the same exact thing. So it looks like you connect in that little hole there, the end of one of these. So like this, and there's that's red for positive and this one's black for negative. And once it's on there, now this is a hook. So you just push here and this would hook on uh, just like the other ones. Cool, so an, an uneven number of these, but that's still exciting to have the nice original HP ones. Although the Easy Hook ones I put on here, Easy Hook is a very good brand. It's uh, made in the US. These are not the, the cheap ones. I have bought these from DigiKey a while back for my Logic Analyzer. So I'm gonna have to do a good amount of studying and reading to figure out how to use these exactly. But the Logic Probe is the one device that is the most easy for me to use already because I already have a cheap Logic Probe. And what this is good for, if I take this motherboard here, I can uh, you know go through the pins on various things. It has a very fine point. So it's perfect for these little surface mount chips. If I wanna to check to see you know, what the output of one of these pins is, I touch this and this either lights up or beeps. The one I have beeps, um, but I think the HP one may just light up. But once it's powered up from the motherboard, yeah, you can hit these pins and I can quickly see if they're high or low or doing a transition or something like that. And then this one here is the Logic Pulsar, which I guess you can inject different logic signals into the motherboard. So there's a switch here and we got a couple different things and there's also a ground connection there as well. And again, I'm gonna have to read this, but I assume maybe you can inject pulses where you can look for them with other devices. Like I can inject here and then use this probe somewhere else. Not sure. I think if anyone has experience using these, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section below. Let me take the opportunity to put these wonderful instruments back into this carrying case here. Oh, look, this is in there too. I, I almost left, missed that. It says it's a logic clip. And I kind of heard, I think I know what this is. I think the logic clip is you can hook this onto a 74LS TTL chip, and then you get a visual indicator of what's happening. There's these LEDs on the top. You just open that up, put it right on the chip, and then you'll have a visual indicator of what's happening. That is so cool. All right, well, I'm gonna take the current tracer here. I'm gonna stick that in here. So it's nice and protected since I lost the uh, cap already. I will find the cap. I'm just gonna have to crawl around on my hands and knees a whole bunch more on the <laughs> once I'm done shooting this video. So there it is, all of those test instruments, safe and sound inside this very soft leatherette case. Well, I think I'm becoming one of the most spoiled YouTubers there is because this, this is just incredible. I can't believe this, I just, yeah. And um, I think if you watched my video yesterday, you will have seen that I have some more Commodores that need fixing. And in fact, there are several building up for an upcoming repair-a-thon and maybe it'll be a perfect opportunity to use some of these cool pieces of equipment here. I mean, if anything, I can just try them out at least and maybe I can make some fixes with these. Who knows, right? So with that, I wanna end this video here. I wanna thank all my viewers for watching my videos, for subscribing and commenting and doing all the things you do and sending in all these incredible things for mail call for me to open. And even though this is a terrible year, COVID has really just done a number on society, let's hope that next year this time, things will be really looking better. We have these vaccines on the horizon about to become widely available and maybe soon we're gonna to start to be able to get back to normal, to see our friends and family and not have to worry about getting people sick and people dying and all the horrible things that are happening with the human malware. So hang in there, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving to my viewers in the US. Happy Thursday to everyone else. And I will see everyone in a couple days on Saturday. Goodbye. Thank you again. I don't know. My ending is all messed up. I'm used to doing my normal ending and I'm not doing it this one. So that's going to be it. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.